I am Santosh Gadankar. Today I am teaching you operation research in that one sequencing. This is the problem of sequencing. Eight jobs. There are eight jobs. And these are the processing time, due date, important suite. Here these are the parameters we are going to find out in case of eight jobs. By using the three rules, SPT rule, WSPT rule and EDD rule. Now, SPT rule is nothing but short processing time. You have the short processing time. You have to select from the smallest to larger. In the case of DD rule, earliest due date, you have to select from the smallest value to the larger value. Now, in case of WSPT rule, there is weighted shortest processing time. Here, you have to divide TI and WI. That means processing time with respect to importance weight. Processing time with respect to important TI divided by WI in order to obtain this one. WSPT rule. Now, phi divided by 1 is nothing but phi. 8 divided by 2, 4. 6 divided by 3, 2. 3 divided by 1, 1. 10 divided by 2 is nothing but phi. 14 divided by 3. 14 divided by 3, 4.7, 7 divided by 2, 3.5, 3 divided by 1, 3 divided by 1, 3. These are the value obtained for WSPD. Now first we have to find out optimum sequence, flow time that is completion time of the job. This is nothing but flow time, flow time, mean flow time for SPT, WSPT and ED rule, average inventory, lateness we have to find out here, lateness and number of job actually late we are going to find out. Here. Now first I am going to use the rule SPT rule. Now SPT rule, this is the SPT rule, short processing time, the optimum sequence. Now as per the short processing time we have to select it, I will select the short processing time. Here the 3 is the first, smallest, 1, ah, sorry, now whether we have to select these 3 or these 3, it plays a very important role. Now based on the sequencing, that means it is start from the this process from the process uh, job one job two job three therefore you have to select this three first one next will be selected this part two based on the processing job two three three four Five, this will be 5, 7 will be 5, this will be 6, 7 and 8, 3, 6, 4, 1, 7, 8, 5 to correct. This is the sequence we are going to obtain. Write the optimum solution. Now first relay 4, 4, next is 8, third 1, fourth is 3, fifth is 7, sixth is 2, seventh is 5, eighth is 6. This is the sequence for short processing time 4 8 1 3 7 2 5 6 this is the sequence now write this sequence here in the in place of job 4 8 1 3 7 2 5 6 now write the processing time and the due date 
from the using the question now what is 4 the 4 processing time will be 3 due date is 25 8 8 processing time is 3 due date is 50 1 processing time is 5 due date is 15 3 6 is processing time due date is 15 7 7 is the processing time due date is 45 for 2 8 is the processing time due date is 10 5 processing time is 10 due date is 20 6 processing time is 14 due date is 40 40 from the question you have to take the processing time and the due date after completion due date and the processing time find out flow time flow time now to find out for flow time this is totally based on processing time at the initial there was no job therefore you have to consider 0 plus 3 3 next write 3 here and plus 3 you have to do it it becomes 6 now 6 right here 6 plus 5 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 next 11 right here 11 plus 6 17 write 17 17 plus 7 17 plus 7 24 next 24 plus 8 24 plus 8 32 32 next 32 plus 10 42 42 42 plus 14 56 after completion of load time find out process inventory process inventory in the case of process inventory number of jobs are 8 right from the increasing order to decreasing order directly there are 8 jobs right in this way 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 in the last column lateness lateness what is lateness lateness is nothing but difference between flow time and due date it is a difference between flow time and due date minus due date difference between flow time and due date now find out the flow time mean flow time mean flow time which is nothing but add this one divide by 8 3 plus 6 plus 11 plus 17 plus 24 plus 32 plus 42 plus 56 divided by 8. The answer is 23.875 minutes. Similarly, find out mean processing, mean processing inventory. inventory or average process inventory now how to solve for process inventory 8 into 3 8 into 3 plus 7 into 3 7 into 3 plus 6 into 5 plus 5 into 6 plus 5 into 6 plus 4 into 7 plus 3 into 8 plus 10 into 2 plus 1 into 14 close the bracket 
divided by divided by processing time 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 14 if you calculate the answer will be 3.410 approximately 4 jobs approximately 4 jobs now after getting this mean flow time mean process time you have to find out the lateness how to find out lateness mean flow sorry flow time minus due date now flow time is nothing but 3 3 minus due date is 25 the answer minus 22 next uh, due flow time is 6 minus 50 6 minus 50 minus 44 11 minus 15 minus 4 17 minus 15 2 24 minus 45 24 minus 45 minus 21 32 minus 10 22 42 minus 20 22 56 minus 40 56 minus 40 is 16 after getting the lateness, find out the mean lateness. Mean lateness. Find out the mean lateness. Mean lateness. Mean lateness is nothing but sum of the lateness of all job divided by number of jobs. Job. Now, minus 22, minus 22, minus 44, minus 4, plus 2, plus, sorry, minus 21, plus 22, plus 22, plus 16, divided by 8, divided by 8, minus 22, minus 44, minus 4, plus 2, minus 21, plus 22, plus 22, 16, divided by 8, the answer is minus 3.8. 625 minute sorry minutes next you have to find out the maximum lateness maximum lateness maximum lateness maximum lateness you have to select the maximum positive value here. Maximum positive value. The maximum positive value is 22. 22 minutes. Highest positive value from the column of lateness. Next, you have to find out number of jobs. Number of job actually late late there are four job actually late how to decide based on negative sign one two three and four four that is number of number of job with negative lateness This is the first part I have completed, SPT rule. Now we are going to solve EDD rule. Now this is the EDD, EDD rule, earliest due date. Earliest due date. In the earliest due date, again, you have to go for the selecting from the smallest to larger. By Now here you have to select the due date. In the SPT rule, you have selected the processing time. Now we have to select the due date from the smallest to larger. Now select the smallest. The smallest here. 15 is the due date for the smallest and 16. Now see the processing time. For the due date 15, the processing time is 5. Here the process time is 6. Therefore, you have to select this part because of smallest processing time. If it is vice versa, then you have to select this part 1. 
now here the processing time is 5 therefore you have to, this is a smaller compared to this one therefore you have to select this part 15 1 oh sorry sorry the first will be 10 here and here the processing time is smallest here therefore I have to select here 2 and this will be 3 next 4 this will be 5 5 6 7 and 8 this is the sequence you have to follow the optimum sequence optimum sequence first is 8 8 8 is nothing but sorry 10 is nothing but 2 2 5, 5 15 is nothing but 1 2 1 3 uh, 5 4 6 is nothing but 6 6 7 job will be 7 8 will be 8 this is the sequence for the due date 2 1 3 5 4 6 7 8 now right in place of job the sequence 2 1 3 5 4 6 7 8 okay now processing time for 2 what is 2 the processing time is 8 due date is 10 1 the processing time is 5 due date is 15 for 3 job the processing time is 6 due date is 15 5 the processing time is 10 due date is 20 4 processing time is 10 3 due date is 25 6 job processing time is 14 due date is 40 for 7 processing time is 7 due date is 45 for 8 it is 3 due date is 50 due date is 50 after completion here find out the flow time find out the flow time here I will find out the flow time flow time flow time is based upon the process time first will be 0 0 plus 8 is equal to 8 is equal to 8 here next is 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 6 19 19 plus 10 29 29 plus 3 32 32 plus 14 46 46 plus 7 53 53 plus 3 56 we have completed the flow time next process inventory process inventory Now it is 8 job right in the decreasing order 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now lateness, lateness minute. The formula for this one is flow time, flow time minus due date flow time minus due date the flow time is 10 sorry 8 8 minus 10 minus 2 15 sorry, 13 minus 15 minus 2 19 minus 15 4 29 minus 20 9 32 minus 25 7 
46 minus 46 53 minus 45 8 56 minus 50 6 lateness now find out mean flow time mean flow time which is nothing but 8 plus 13 plus 19 plus 29 plus 32 plus 46 plus 53 plus 56 divided by 8 the answer is 32 minutes next average processing inventory or mean process inventory process inventory mean process inventory now how to write here 8 into 8 8 into 8 plus 7 into 5 7 into 5 plus 6 into 6 6 into 6 plus 5 into 10 plus 4 into 3 plus 3 into 14 plus 2 into 7 plus 1 into 3 1 into 3 close the bracket divided by closing time 8 plus 5 plus 6 plus 10 plus 3 plus 14 plus 7 plus 3 answer is 4.57 approximately 5 jobs now mean lateness mean lateness that is sum of lateness of all job divided by number of job of job minus 2 minus 2 plus 4 plus 9 plus 7 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 divided by 8 the answer is 4.5 minutes next maximum lateness maximum lateness now you have to select the maximum positive value here. the maximum positive value is 9 minute right here 9 minute next number of job actually late number of job actually late how many jobs are actually late here here you have to select the positive values 1 2 3 4 5 6 values 6 jobs are actually late this completes your edd rule <coughs> now we are in wspt rule select the sequence from the smallest to larger the smallest is here 2 is the smallest first here 1 next is 3 select the processing time size now 3 the processing time is 3 again the 3 the processing time is 3 now if both are same then you have to see the sequence that means the job sequence the first appears here therefore you have to select this part 2 2 3 2 3 4 4 5 5 6 now 7 big why we have selected this one instead of this based upon the processing time it is 5 and here the processing time is 10 therefore i have to select this one 7 and 8 8 now go for sequencing sequencing Optimal sequence first is job 3. 3. Next is 
4. Next is 8. 8. The fourth, fourth is 7. Fifth is 2. Sixth is 6. Seventh is 1. Eighth is 5. The sequence is 3, 4, 8, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5. This is the sequence. Now write the sequence in the job. 3, 4, 8, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5. Now, now 3, the processing time is 6. Due date is 15. And importance weight is 3. For 4 job, processing time is 3, 25, 1, 8, 3, 50, 1, 7, 7, 45, 2, for 2, 8, 10, 2, 6, 14, 40, 3, 5, 15, 1, 10, 20, 2. Now we have completed processing time, due date and weight. Now go for flow time. Flow time. Flow time based upon the processing. 0 plus 6. 6. 6 plus 3. 9. 9 plus 3. 12. 12 plus 7. 19. 19 plus 8. 27. 27 plus 14. 41. 41 plus 5, 46, 46 plus 10, 56. Next, process inventory, process inventory, write in decreasing order 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next, lateness, lateness minute. The formula is flow time minus due date. The flow time is 6 minus 15 minus 9. 9 minus 25 minus 16. 12 minus 50 minus 38. 19 minus 45. Minus 26, 27 minus 10, 17, 41 minus 40, 1, 46 minus 15, 31, 56 minus 20, 36. Now, mean flow time. Mean flow time six plus nine plus twelve plus nineteen plus twenty seven plus forty one plus forty six plus fifty six divided by eight twenty seven minutes next average or mean process inventory mean process inventory eight into six eight into six plus seven into three six into plus six into three plus five into seven plus four into eight 
plus 3 into 14 3 into 14 plus 2 into 5 plus 1 into 10 divided by processing time 6 plus 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 8 plus 14 plus 5 plus 10 the answer is 3.85 approximately 4 jobs approximately 4 jobs now weighted weighted mean flow time weighted mean flow time weighted mean flow time that means you have to select this part now with respect to processing time now how to write open the bracket 3 into 6 3 into 6 plus 1 into 3 1 no 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 processing time no sorry you have to select 3 into 6 1 into 9 1 into 9 plus 12 into 1 plus 19 into 2 plus 27 into 2 plus 41 into 3 plus plus 46 into 1 plus 2 into 56 divided by importance weight that is 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 if you calculate 27.47 time or minute minutes after completion this one you have to find out the mean lateness mean lateness mean lateness minus 9 minus 9 minus 16 minus 38 minus 26 plus 17 plus 1 plus 31 plus 36 divided by 8 answer is minus 0 0.5 minute the maximum lateness maximum lateness you have to select the positive value the maximum lateness is 36 minute number of job actually late jobs actually late select the positive value 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 jobs. In this way, you have to solve the problem of uh, SP2, SPT, EDD and WSPT. I am Satosh Gaidantra. Thank you very much.